Hi, this is Tyler. I'm here with Vortec Watch Company, and today we're talking about what a tombstone is when it comes to machining. Kind of an interesting name to call something that we're machining with. I believe the, the name comes from the fact that these things are kind of shaped like a tombstone, and I don't think it's too much more complicated than that. Each of these is a different style of tombstone. Tombstones are for multi-axis machining, so four plus axes on a mill. And the reason for that is we have four different sides that we can work on. So we can expand, we can take this surface area and multiply it by four if we have a multi-axis machine. On our mini mill here, we have a tombstone set up here held by our fourth axis rotary. And instead of only having, only being able to work on three parts at a time, because that's kind of the only amount of space that we have up here, we're able to rotate this whole tombstone and work on all four sides of this. So instead of just three parts, we have 12 parts that we're making every single time that we press the button. Fancy tombstone systems will be palletized, so they will have studs, um, like we talk about in our what is a pallet video, um, that you can quickly swap these in and out. Our system is a little bit different than that, um, but each of these is a different tombstone made for different parts. The tombstone in the machine, this is made specifically to hold 12 pieces of two inch round material. They can be different heights and different materials. We do our Delrin inserts with this tombstone. We prep our two inch stock for case backs and bezels on that tombstone as well. Um, whereas this tombstone is made for prepping our case material. Generally speaking, we're, we're putting big pucks of titanium in this. This can hold six pucks at a time and put dovetails in them so we can hold them on our case pallet in our VM2. So we'll put six pieces of this stuff in here. It'll do these two and then it'll rotate. Do this one and then rotate. Then do two more. This tombstone here is what we use to make buckles. Um, so we load one big piece of titanium on this side and it will chop 10 buckles from each one of these long pieces. And then we'll take this whole piece of cut buckles and turn it over and put it in here. So the individual buckles will fit into these slots and then these clamps will expand and hold them down. So this way, every time we hit the button, we're doing 10 plus 10, so 20 first ops, and then 10 plus 10, 20 second ops. So each time we're putting in two pieces of material and we're getting 20 finished buckles out of this fixture. And the other cool thing about a tombstone um, when it comes to multi-axis machines is that I don't just have access. So on a three-axis machine we're using a pallet, like this pallet over here, this pallet doesn't move, so I can only access the part like this with the spinning tool. I can't turn to the side or anything like that. On a tombstone, it's made for multi-axis. So, for example, on our buckles, we, we machine the rims so that the shape is kind of like this. But those rims have holes in them for the spring bar that holds them to the strap. And in order to do those holes, while it's still working on this piece of material, it will flip the tombstone on its side and drill those holes from the side. So we can access the part from three different sides on this tombstone, as opposed to if we didn't have a tombstone in there, we could only access this part from here, and we'd have to set up a secondary operation just to drill those holes. That what, that's what makes the tombstones so useful. Um, on our five-axis machine over here, the DMG Mori, our plan is to make palletized tombstones that can do one case per side. 
one or more case per side. So we'll have this set up with multiple cases on each side that can rotate in five axes where we can come in, do the case tubes, do the holes in the lugs, um, and actually reduce the amount of operations that we're doing from five operations on a three-axis mill to two operations on a five-axis mill. And Tombstone, overall, it's just referring to these, this style of work holding. It's a large block, usually four-sided. It can be any number of sides, three, four, six. It's all dependent on what parts you're making and what your needs are. Um, but we've got these tall blocks um, that go in the machine, and they're for multi-axis, so they can move around and access all different sides. So it's dense work holding, and it's multi-axis work holding, so you can access, access the part from different sides. Don't get confused by the term tombstone. It's, I think, just describing the shape, but this is what it is. It's um, just a really efficient and um, good way to hold a lot of parts at one time and access them from all different sides.